Welcome to the wonderful world of Weaver. I am, of course, Gensu Weaver, and I'm here today with... Morty Grant. And today we're going to be giving our thoughts and opinions on Adam Sandler's new movie, Pixels. For all you out there, here's the trailer. in the movie too. <laughs> Alright, so we got nostalgia. We got modern times. We got aliens. Aliens are always a good thing. Aliens are great. Of course. It's an alien life force. We got great special effects. We got Pac-Man. I mean, come on, that's beautiful. That looks amazing. I it looked and then we got Adam Sandler. Pretty funny guy. Kevin Smith. They need to be Kevin Bacon. Everything is better with Bacon. Melissa McConaughey. Melissa McConaughey. Oh, it is Monahan. Michelle Monahan. Michelle. I'm not us. Peter Dinklage. Josh Gab. Who doesn't love Peter Dinklage? I was honestly, seriously sad when I saw the last movie. I was too. Okay, we are all going to die. Pixels. May I introduce to you, Professor Iwatani? Iwatani! Pokemon is not bad, you see. Professor Iwatani, what are you doing? I, I, I laughed when I saw some theaters, even though I've seen it a dozen times. 20, 30 times just watching the trailer. Uh-huh. Yes. I still laugh when I see it. Professor Iwatani, what are you doing? Professor Iwatani, what are you doing? I still laugh. Because it was funny! Somebody kill this bitch! That's what they said in the movie. So there's the trailer for all you out there. Now Lucas, what did you think of the trailer? I thought the trailer was exactly what the trailer was supposed to be. Clips, I, uh, ideology showing the premise of the movie, building up to the excitement, the desire to want to go spend my money to see the movie. It did. It did its job. Yes. It made you want to go see the movie. Yes. Did it over-exaggerate anything? No. So they didn't make it seem like it was going to be anything but what it actually was? To me, what I saw was the premise of the movie, and when I saw the movie, I felt the premise was met. Okay, so they didn't overhype it. They didn't seem like it was going to make it more of an action movie than a comedy. Okay, it was an action comedy. Well, yeah, but I'm saying. I don't. I don't get what you're saying. Please elaborate. When I watched the trailer, I honestly thought that it was going to be more of an action, nostalgia type thing, than fighting against the video game I'm characters gonna, I'm gonna that they grew up with. On the screen. Okay. You directly. That's fine. And because of that, it made it seem like it was not going to be as funny. Now, mind you, when I went to see the movie, I thought it was great. I thought it was hilarious. Just enough action, just enough comedy. But the trailer itself made it seem like it was going to be something more than what it was. I disagree. I think we had comedians for the lineup. We had we had all these great comedians picked out, chosen. We had Josh Gabb. We had Adam Sandler. We had people that have already established themselves, and they were put into a position of action. Mm -hmm. That doesn't imply that the movie's going to be an action movie. It means it's going to be a comedic action movie. So, in other words, you think people took the trailer the wrong way. How did people even take the trailer? Most of them thought it was going to be something completely different. What, like another Avengers? I don't know. I would hope not. Right, if anybody saw the trailer and saw Adam Sandler and thought this was going to be on the levels of Avengers, 
You need help. <laughs> you need psychological evaluation. So what did you think of the movie itself? I thought the movie was exactly what it set out to be. But first you got to understand, when I go see a movie, I do not have expectations. Because I learned at a young life, when I go into something expecting something great, The Matrix, I, I tend to be let down by Matrix 2. You hear that, people? Go into a movie with no expectations, and then it will be exactly what it was supposed to be, and not suck as bad as you think it was. Because no. honestly, people have told me not to go see Pixels because it was going to be a horrible movie. Yeah. I think they're all stupid. Because I, that movie was amazing for what it was. I watched reviews before we even went and saw the movie, mm -hmm. so I already heard all the negativity. I heard spoilers. I heard people just the jokes, the humor, the action. People say it wasn't well thought out enough, that it, there wasn't enough thought in the storyline, that there was no cohesion to the storyline. Let's be very clear. This was a Billy Madison production. Okay, this, or was it Happy Madison? Happy Madison? I don't know. Happy oh. Madison Protection, I believe. This was an Adam Sandler film. I've seen Click. I've seen Blended. I've, I've seen Don't Mess With the Zohan. I have a certain level of expectations when it comes to an Adam Sandler film. I did not expect greatness from Pixels. So I was relatively happy and surprised when I enjoyed the film. I was, too. But honestly, I think people had too high of an expectation for this movie, considering it's supposed to be a nostalgia jerker. People are spoiled nowadays. We have way too many amazing films, too many great storylines, and everybody thinks everything they go see in a theater... Has to be exactly the same way. ...is, is going to blow their socks off. But it shouldn't. You should go for pure entertainment purposes. Not to have your mind blown. And I... Well, I was entertained. I, I enjoyed gas. Uh, Josh Gapp's character. I enjoyed Adam Sandler's... I mean, his, his presentation was a little wooden, but he's getting old, so yeah. I don't expect... You know, I don't expect him to bring the energy that he wants to have anymore. And that's why you have people like Peter Dinklage and... Adam Sandler actually used to be one of my favorite comedic actors. Yeah, back he when he had so energy. Good at it. Yeah. He had energy. Now he's but older. now he's old, so... But we're getting older, so we can yeah. understand that. Exactly. But and like, it's the young people nowadays that can't. I mean, that's that's why I think Josh Gad came onto the screen was merely for the chance to be that energy. I mean, he was hyped. He was ready to go. I mean, he yelled a lot, and that's not what I mean by energy, but just like his, his portrayal was, mm -hmm. was honest. I honestly believed he was a loser conspiracy theorist who hid in his mother's basement and was in love with the 1980s video game character. It really felt like it, and I, I actually thought his character, the way he portrayed it, was amazing, considering he was a geek loser living in his mom's basement in love with a video game character who was a conspiracy theorist. And not to mention the fact, speaking of the characters in love with Ashley Benson, who would not be in love with her? She was beautiful. Oh, she was gorgeous. She was great. Honestly, very, very gorgeous. But just when people go to see a movie nowadays, they start out with this expectation. And then when they go into the movie, they come out here. And if you just remove that expectation, you just enjoy the film. See, if you put your expectation from here to here, then your expectation as the movie as you go up slowly starts to rise. So it may not get up here, but it'll still be higher than it was. So are you saying you lower your expectation? No, I'm saying I have no expectation, and when I come out of the movie, it, no expectation. I like the movie. So this is no. This is no. This is no. This is some expectation. Yes. This is high expectation. Okay. The only movies I really have high expectations for nowadays are Marvel movies. Because they've... Because they've put their own expectations up here. Well, they have... They have a long history of cinegraphic masterpieces. Um, not the original Marvel movies. Yeah. I mean, comic books. How they how they blend images with the words and the scripts. So they that's where they're building off of, is that these people have the training and the know-how. And they're good at writing. They're good at videography, or however you say that. Videography. Videography, that's Or it. cinematography. Cinematography. I'm the smart one. Not so much. <laughs> no, he's good at everything else. 
Yeah, I can draw. He can't. And you can build. He can't. But not brotherly love. The problem is, is that people people expect too much. All the reviews I heard were people dissing the the storyline, the graph, not the graphics, no, and and how they didn't use the characters the right way, and how they they didn't play jokes off the original characters. How are you supposed to do a joke about Donkey Kong? I mean, except for Peter Dinklage sitting there doing the monkey dance in chain, spoiler alert. I mean, I thought they used everything pretty cleanly, and just the effects were believable. I mean, the, the situations they defined where Adam Sandler beat Pac-Man was believable. Mm -hmm. It wasn't far-fetched. When they went out there on the on the field of battle with the light cannons to take out the center beads, it was believable. There was a reason why they could do it and the Marines couldn't. Because they'd spent time actually doing it. Well, because Not they, to that scale, but... Well, not to mention their brains yeah. could process the information the patterns. Yeah. You know? And I just I love I thought the movie was great. I thought it was a great movie that not only could I enjoy watching with my child, but at the same time I could enjoy in the future. I thought it had rewatch capabilities. It does. I would definitely go watch it again when it came out on DVD, but still. Yeah, I don't know if I'd, I'd waste money to go see an okay movie again. It's not in like theater, Ant-Man, where Ant -Man I, I actually want to go spend more money to see that again. Yeah, I I definitely do, Which, too. by the way, I think we're doing a video on that, so... Uh, we are going to go see it again with a couple of our friends next weekend, and then we're going to be doing a review on that as well. He so, knows. yeah. So, we are going to be doing two videos... This one, Ant-Man, and we're going to have four people on the next podcast. That is all for today. Thank you for joining us on the Wonderful World Podcast, and I shall talk to you later.